Hi guys, this is my 11 week update for myself and Freddie. Um, Freddie is 11 weeks and one day today, so I'm just one day late this week. Um, I've got a little bit to go through, so um, just a heads up if ever anyone's wanting a short video, even though my videos are never really that short. Um, sorry about the lighting, it's um, quarter to ten um, tonight. It's the the 26th of September. So anyway, um, Freddie's fine. He's asleep at the moment. I'll just quickly show you him. He's in this cute little onesie. Mum, mum and daddy calls me. It's quite hot today, so. Right, so um, I had Freddie weighed today. Um, he is currently 12 pounds, 12 and a half ounces. So he's still in the um, 50th percentile for his age, which is good because he's been that for quite some time now. Um, he's feeding really well, um, no problems. He's still a really good baby. Um, so no problems really whatsoever with him, really. Um, I've had a couple of um, baby buys, which I've I've kind of become a little bit addicted to eBay, but that's all right, I guess. Um, nothing too ex expensive, really. Um, so yeah, um, what else? So nothing else really happened during the week besides. Um, Besides Saturday, really. Um, Saturday, Matt was playing cricket. Um, sorry, my hair's wet. I've just got out the sh out the bath. Um, Matt was playing cricket, um, and I didn't really want to go and watch cricket, so I decided that um, I would go out to the neighbouring town and just go and have like a look around the shops and stuff. Just um, to keep myself out of the house and it was quite a nice day so it was quite nice to get out really so um, no dramas really got there fine um, it wasn't until um, I came to leave um, it was I went to Primark um, at and I left Primark at 20 to 5 and I was walking from Primark along the high street um, and as I got to a crossing just before the bus stop, so let's just say Primark's here, the crossing is here and the bus stop's here. I was crossing here and I kind of noticed like a burning smell and I was like, okay, what's that? Um, look down and Freddie's blanket was on fire. Um, obviously I immediately took it off took it off of him because he was just in a little romper suit so he had bare legs obviously um, no socks on just bare legs um, and he was in his car seat in the travel system um, so I took the blanket off and obviously put the flames out um, got him straight out the car seat and checked him over just to make sure there was no burns or anything like that um, and I couldn't see any so um, I then went into Boots was the nearest shop, so I went in there and tried to get hold of um, Matt straight away. But I knew he was playing cricket, so it may be a bit difficult. Um, and he was actually out batting at the time, so I called his um, his twin brother Tom, um, and I got through to him. And I just explained what was going on. I was obviously really shaken up. I was really panicking. I was in, I was crying, um, and just said what what had gone on. Um, and said that, you know, there was no noticeable burns, so I was going to get the bus straight down to, um, luckily, where they were playing cricket is like a hospital, so I was going to get the bus straight down to the hospital just to get him checked out, you know, for any smoke inhalation or anything like that. Um, is that better? Yeah. Um, so, Matt called me up straight away and was like, um you know, what's going on, and said he'd come and pick me up. So he came and picked me up, 
Um, and we went straight to the hospital. Um, we went straight to the hospital. Um, and obviously we got seen straight away because obviously he's a baby. Um, and he got checked over by the triage nurse. Um, they had like a little um, heart monitor, which they put around their toes or around their thumbs, um, which was quite interesting because obviously I've never seen anything because I've never been in hospital for a baby before and I don't really want it to, I didn't really want to be, but it was quite interesting anyway. Um, but that was all fine, which was really good. Um, and we had to wait to see the doctor you know, just for further um, analysis because obviously something like that had never happened before. Um, and um, we waited in the waiting room probably about for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, we saw the doctor um, and they wanted to take a blood sample um, to make sure there was no carbon monoxide um, in his body. So um, first of all, they tried doing a heel prick test that way to get the blood out that way but um, he they didn't get enough blood from the sample so then that we had to go they had to, she the consultant that we were seeing well the what was she called the um, the first lady doctor we saw the registrar um, she wasn't very confident I don't think she really knew what she was doing obviously she knew what she was doing but um, I don't think she's ever done it on a small baby before. So she got a more senior doctor um, to come and um, look at Freddie. And he ended up having um, a cannula put in his hand um, to have the blood taken out that way, which was horrible. Horrible. Um, it took myself, the doctor taking the blood and the registrar to hold him down because he was screaming that much. Um, and um, they took the blood and obviously they can check it straight away. So um, we didn't have to wait very long for those to come back and they were all fine, thank God. Um, while we were there we saw two policemen and um, a police lady and a policeman um, and we had to give a statement um, in regards to obviously what had happened um, and see if we could get any um, evidence caught on CCTV um, whether it was done maliciously or just accidentally um, so that was good um, so Freddie's fine he's absolutely fine um, I think I was more shaken up by it because you don't expect to look down one minute and your baby will be fine and then look down the next minute and then your baby's blanket be a light especially when I don't smoke um, I don't you know I I know a lot of people who do smoke and they do have children and I know obviously they'd probably be very responsible um, but there are a lot of careless people out there and it's just made me that bit more against smokers um, because obviously what could have happened to him um, if I hadn't have caught it, um, if I'd have caught it any later, it would have gone through to his skin. Um, so it's not worth thinking about, really. Um, hang on one second. Oh. Um, so then he got discharged from hospital about nine, nine o'clock. Um, and then we got home. didn't we? We got home. Well, we had something to eat quickly and then we got home and um, you're having a bobblehead moment. Bobblehead! Um, <gasps> Hello Freddy. Oh! Oh! Um, we got home and um, so we had some dinner and got home and then it was about 10 o'clock. Um, we were about to go to bed and then all of a sudden I had a gallbladder um, attack thing really again. Um, really bad one this time. Um, and then that ended up me going into hospital on the same day. as So Freddie got discharged at 9. I went into hospital about, what time would you say, 12? Yeah, no, no, 1. Okay, well about 1 by the time we got into hospital and got seen and stuff. Um, 
and I had to stay, I had to kiss Freddie goodbye um, and he had to go with um, with his dad and I had to go round and sit in a cubicle for the remainder of the night um, until I got discharged at 6am. Um, I was on morphine um, and I was really sick on the Sunday, really sick. Um, so that was fun. Um, I think it was just brought on by stress because of worrying about Freddy. Um, but I'm fine now. I'm just trying to trying to chase up about my operation date. <coughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. Um, they won't give me an operation date. So, um, so I'm just waiting to find out about that, really. Um, but besides from that, everything's fine. The week's kind of been a bit... Bit mundane. I've I've done things um, all throughout the week. Um, I went to um, I went out to shopping centre with um, one of the mums I met from my um, mum's class, which is really nice. She's got a little girl who was born four days after Freddie, so that's his new little girlfriend called Lily, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so at the um, at the health visitor today I wanted to talk to her about something that's kind of been um, kind of been like an issue for like the past couple of weeks um, uh, Freddie has he, you know he's absolutely fine but we've noticed that he has started he well he's found his hand he found his hand a couple of weeks ago as you can see now um, he will chew on the bottle when he's eating um, he will chew on his hands and he will suck on his hands and he's um, producing a lot of drool and dribble um, so my first react my first thought was oh he's teething but then I thought well hang on an 11 week old baby cannot possibly be teething um, but I don't really know how it all works because um, because I've um, because I've um, never had a baby before. I mean, I've got brothers and sisters, but not other than that, no. Um, so um, the health visitor said that um, it is quite rare, quite rare. The average age is between four and six months to get their first tooth, and obviously Freddie will be three months on the tenth of October. So he's still a bit early yet, but every baby is different. So. Um, you know, he possibly is um, cutting a tooth through. So, yeah, that would be quite interesting. Um, and he's really, really fussy, like a lot more extra fussy um, than he usually is. Um, and just doesn't seem to want to settle. Um, and he hardly sleeps at all during the day now. He'll have like little naps, like 20 minutes or 10 minutes or something like that. Um, and you'll think, oh great, he's gone to sleep, and then you go to do something, and then he wakes up. Um, Where's his dummy? Go on. Oh. Um, so, um, don't think there's any much else really. Um, oh yeah, we've um, started him on size 3 nappies. Um, size 2s were, they weren't leaking, but well, he's had a, bu a couple of explosive nappies, um, but never leaked out of them. So he's on size threes now, um, pampers that is. Matt, can you pass me a bottle? Um, I've, because now I'm exclusively bottle feeding, um, I've decided that I'm going to, you know, try out different bottles because, um, do you want it? I found with, um, the, these are coming out way too fast. What size is this? X, what does X mean? Um, I found that um, the Tommy Tippy bottles, so this is the Tommy Tippy anti-colic one, the, um, the top will indent. Go on then. 
Um, so yeah, and um, so I'm going to try out. I'm going to try out the different bottles um, and see how they go. Um, so I'm kind of wanting to try out the Nook ones and the Mam dummies. Um, see how they go. Um, I have got an Avent bottle. It's only a four ounce bottle, which I got free. But oh, good boy. Um, but they're they seem fine. I mean, I haven't had any problems with the Avent ones, but I just want to try out different ones, seeing as I'm going to be bottle feeding him now for the remainder of his bottle feeding days. So I want to try and see which one's the best ones. So I'm not buying them brand new. I'm getting them off of eBay. So some people may be, may be against that, not buying them brand new. But I mean, I don't care really, to be honest. So um, what else? I don't think there's anything else really. Uh, oh yeah, um, he gets quite nasally, like um, when he's he sometimes it, it's like he's snoring. So he's on these nasal drops, which are suitable from birth. So he has those. Um, and then yeah, that's about it really. So. Not really much else to say really, um, apart from um, I may do another video, um, so things like what I didn't use in my hospital bag and what my current hosp um, my current changing bag is now, because um, I know a lot of people do that, um, and then I might also show about my, because um, me, me and Millie, or young mummy to be, we were talking about this, we were talking about um, how people do their bottles and things like that. Um, I know everyone does may do theirs a different way, but we just thought it'd be interesting just to see that, so may do a video about that. Um, so apart from that, really, that's it. Um, I'm not doing belly shots anymore because, like I said in my last video, um, my, my gallbladder makes my stomach puffy and there's no point really doing belly shots anymore. So that'll be it, really. Um, I'll show you Freddy quickly as he's now awake. There he is. He's hungry, so I'm going to feed him properly now. So, yep, yeah, I'll be back for my 12 week update. Bye, guys. <laughs>